Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four Caps Killer. Um, Series S Xbox. Um, and I know I mentioned this before, but uh, a lot of people misunderestimate uh, Series S. Now, granted, Series X is the most powerful, but. And yes, Xbox Series X is the most powerful console. We get that. I'm sure everybody knows that by now. But, again, let's not underestimate the power of Series S. And here I am. This is a projector. And the reason I'm doing this on a projector, um, it's because I want to see how the resolution looks on a big screen you know versus a small screen you know uh, which I have down here I want to see how it looks on a big screen and even on a big screen series S doesn't disappoint and uh, this video is really for my friend um, Dominic because he'll be getting a series S and Dominic this video is for you man I'll tell you you will not be disappointed playing um, Flight Simulator on Series S. Uh, you will be very pleased. Uh, it doesn't matter if you have QLED or OLED or just uh, Vizio, HDR, 4K TV. It doesn't matter. Whichever one you have, you will be pleased knowing that... Uh, Xbox Series S version does a fantastic job. Um, now, this projector here, it's a... Um, PX701 by ViewSonic. A lot of people ask me, why did I uh, chose to go with this projector? Well, first of all, the price. 800 bucks. you know, uh, it's a pretty good deal. For this projector, considering what it has inside, uh, which is 4.2 milliseconds respond time, 240 hertz refresh rate, uh, Rec 709, I believe it's 80% color accuracy, uh, HDR and HLG, which is hyper low gamma, along with a pixel shifter 4K and 3200 lumens brightness uh, light which is necessary for you to to truly appreciate uh, this beautiful HDR and I and again my camera guys please keep in mind my camera it's not doing really uh, jack of nothing because you know it's a one thing to watch this on a uh, phone and a monitor or a television but it's another thing meaning on a YouTube compressed video right that's what I mean you know but when you see it in person it's a total different ballgame what I'm trying to say is this um, I'm trying to give you some idea uh, what it what it what it might what it will look like maybe to you when you get this but when you finally get this projector and when you plug it in well actually scratch that I'll tell you this people have been writing to me on the on the uh, social media Facebook Instagram Twitter people have been contacting me on the email uh, leaving comments they've been telling me how much they appreciate the fact that I recommended this projector. Why? Because it has a great value. Great value of being perfect for video games, for your PlayStation 5, your Series X or your Series S, and also at the same time, excellent for 4K HDR movies. 
So with this projector, you are getting excellence in movies and gaming with 4.2 milliseconds respond time and of course 240 hertz refresh rate. The 240 hertz refresh rate will work only with 1080p. Uh, it doesn't support 4K, uh, 240, so you got to go with a 1080p, 240, but I have tried it, and it looks fantastic. Uh, the, like I said, the biggest kicker, it's going to be a 4.2 milliseconds, which this thing has, and it's very responsive. Um, playing on a projector, guys... It's something you have to see for yourself. Um, with the projector, you get to see the detail of this airplane. You get to see the detail of that video game, right? You get to have better understanding. Oh, wow. I see what kind of effort it took to make this game, right? Uh, and what kind of effort it took to bring all that detail. And... Um, with it with projector you can do that you know I know that I already done the video on this but I felt maybe I should have done a little bit more uh, and that's what this video is really for my friend uh, Dominic uh, and I think Rob will be pleased with this uh, projector if you can get this projector Rob uh, for let's say like uh, 750 uh, quids uh, I would definitely go for it uh, you will not be disappointed. Movies will look great on it. Video games will play great on it and look great on it. Um, as far as the DLP lamp, uh, they're not that expensive. You can put 30,000 hours into it. Um, so, again, highly recommend it. And uh, now, one more thing I want to say before I end this video. I don't recommend that you play on video games. Uh, I don't recommend you playing video games on this projector all the time. Uh, I only use it for specific video games that I want to play and for specific movies that I want to watch. You want to conserve that lamp, guys. That's why we have televisions, you know. That's why we have televisions. Televisions are meant for... Uh, long sessions right playing games for the long sessions uh projectors are really meant for all right you want to play a game certain game for like a few uh you know three four hours uh to check it out on a big you know projector and you want to watch a couple of movies here and there uh that's my opinion on that like that's what i would recommend but i wouldn't say that Using only a projector as your main source of uh, viewing, uh, I mean, it's up to you. Like, if you want to do it, you can do it. But just make sure you stack up on those light bulbs, DLP light bulbs. You're going to need them uh, if you're going to be using it that much, you know. Anyway, I don't know what else I can say here that I haven't said uh, already. Uh, again, my camera here, uh, it's really not doing it justice. Uh, when you see this in person, it's totally a uh, different ball game. You know what I mean? But this video is really intended for my friend Dominic. And uh, Dominic, man, listen, uh, can't wait for you to get your Series S. And... You will not be disappointed, man. Even I am, like, uh, still kind of, like, uh, shocked as to how good uh, Flight Simulator looks on Series S. You know? I have yet to try Forza, Forza Horizon 5 on my Series S. I think I should do that uh, pretty soon to showcase... Uh, just how good uh, people have been asking me about the OLED I will get back to the OLED uh, and do some Dolby Vision uh, tests 
with Halo and this one and Forza. Uh, you know, I've just it's been very busy for me lately doing the live streams and trying to find the time to do other things, but I will try to get to it whenever I can. Thank you for watching. Cheers.